Hey guys, welcome back to Kara's Cakes. This week I'm going to be showing you how I decorate some cupcakes. I might answer some questions during this video too. I posted that I was going to do a Q&A, so um, I only got asked a few questions, so I'll answer them on here instead, instead of filming like a whole separate video. But I have all my six dozen cupcakes over there ready to go. There's three different flavors, Funfetti, chocolate peanut butter, and lemon blueberry. So I have my piping bags ready and the piping tips I'm going to be using. And on the Funfetti, I'm going to be using this Wilton um, 1M and I'm going to use the same tip on the lemon blueberry but in the middle of the chocolate row I'm going to be using this this is an Ateco 809 I'm sure you can get it in Wilton though it's just the big circle tip so I have my buttercream here and I'm going to put it in my piping bag so the first question is how do you know how much icing or buttercream to make this person says that they always make not enough and then they have to make another batch and um, what I always do is make um, a triple batch of my buttercream, and that's like the most that'll fix, fit in this mixer. And this mixer is like a six quart mixer, so it's gonna take some trial and error to see what, um, how much fits in your mixer or bowl or whatever you're using to make icing. But I would say make more, make more than you think. So like triple your batch, and then when you triple it, if you still have extra left over, then you can always put it in like a freezer bag. I just use the big freezer bags like this. Um, fill this with the leftover icing, mark the date on it, and then you can throw it in the freezer. Um, once it's in the freezer, it can stay in there for a couple weeks. So then you can just use it for the next time you bake. If you're at home baking, you're probably not making as many cupcakes as I'm making right now. So this is a triple batch of my buttercream and um, I'm gonna try to make it work for the six dozen cupcakes. But if it doesn't, I still have some butter ready to go to make another batch, but a triple batch is all that'll fit in this mixer. So I have my vanilla buttercream ready to go in the piping bag and some sprinkles. And when you're putting sprinkles on cupcakes, so when you're putting sprinkles on cupcakes, I tend to do either a row and then add sprinkles because if you don't add the sprinkles soon after putting on the buttercream, depending on the consistency of your buttercream, um, your sprinkles might not stick. Try to not do a whole ton of cupcakes without doing the sprinkles first.
so I got the vanilla and the blueberry lemon done in each box. And this is how much buttercream I had left at the end of that. Um, I did put more buttercream on the vanilla ones than the lemon blueberry. I just find that the vanilla can handle a little bit more. Um, so I do have to make some more buttercream. Um, I have some more butter that I left out overnight here. I'm gonna cut that up, put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds to make it a little bit softer. And then we're gonna beat this up and get it ready for some um, whipping cream and icing sugar. And then we'll be able to add the cocoa powder and peanut butter for the peanut butter cupcakes. butter chocolate buttercream on all of the chocolate ones and now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some chocolate ganache drizzle and a little peanut butter cup on the top of each one cupcakes are all done. We have the lemon blueberry, the chocolate peanut butter, and the vanilla funfetti. So I'm all finished and all the boxes are ready to go. Um, I have my business card on top of each box and I took some pictures here for Instagram. You can head on over to Kara Bakes Cakes over on Instagram and check me out over there. Now that I have my pictures taken for Instagram, I'm going to head over back over into the kitchen and clean everything up. today's vlog um, I have my cupcakes over here ready to go for tomorrow when I drop them off my kitchen's all clean now I cleaned up all my cake stuff there these buttercream I'm gonna pop in the freezer and thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a big thumbs up scroll down to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from me I do upload videos every Sunday and um, definitely let me know down below if you can notice um, a change of quality in my vlogs. When I'm holding the camera like this, it's the front facing camera. So I don't know if like that's any better, but it even looks a little bit better to me. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to tune in next Sunday. Mm -hmm.